Today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different, and that is showing you my new elliptical, hopefully. The reason I say hopefully is because my elliptical right now is inside this box. The elliptical that I purchased is a Horizon EX5902. Now I did a fair bit of research on ellipticals, probably about two months worth trying to determine which one I wanted. I looked at Dick's Sporting Goods, Sears, kind of went through all those, wasn't quite happy with the reviews until I found this Horizon. And it had good reviews, it said the assembly instructions are pretty easy. So I was gonna purchase it at 649, which is what it was sitting right around. And then it went up to 699, like right when I was gonna buy it. So I held off and luckily I did because on Christmas day, it went down to 589. So I snapped it up that day and uh, it was delivered for free. So that was my total cost. The only downside is there's no assembly. You gotta put it together yourself, which is what I'm gonna try to do today. Now I don't consider myself very good at building things, but I can follow directions. And that's one thing the reviews on Amazon really had going for this is that the directions are very easy to follow. And that's what I'm hoping they are. The downside is people said that it's gonna take a few hours, put this together two to four hours, depending on your skill level. So I'm accounting for four. Maybe I'll get this done. Maybe it's gonna be tomorrow because it's a little bit late, but I figure why not get started and I'll take you along with my, on the journey and, and we'll just see how it goes and you can see and maybe learn from my experience. Box got here in pretty good condition. Didn't have any issues with delivery. The guys were super nice. Came through a freight service, so I just had to be here to sign for it. And that wasn't too bad, but it is freaking heavy, that's for sure. Oh, wow. I guess that's why it's so heavy. There's basically a pallet inside this thing, all wrapped in wood. There's my tools. That's pretty sweet. Came with everything that I need. If I need better things, I have my own, so that's always nice. And I'm gonna try to take this all out here really nicely. I'll uh, come back once I have everything. Oh, that's nice. It's just a small piece. I thought that thing was gonna go the whole way around. Yeah, I'll take all this out of here and I'll come back with you when it's, when it's all, all out of here. After getting rid of all this packaging garbage, this becomes a lot more manageable. Here's everything that came out of this. And it's not too bad. There's the main part of elliptical. Some of this stuff I have no idea what it is. Of course, there's the thing you put your feet on. Here's all the tools. If you wanna see how that's all laid out on there. And the good news about the assembly, I was kind of going through this, there are only eight steps total, but I mean, there's a lot going on in each step. So there's the last step there, putting the unit on there for the electronics. Not too bad, then you get into the, the elliptical operation, but I feel pretty confident in this. After seeing this and seeing the tools and the parts, I think I can do this. I guess I should throw this out here if anybody's putting this together. The second thing that you see in the important notes is something that I read on Amazon too, and this can be very important. It says, during each assembly step, ensure all nuts and bolts are in place and partially threaded. It's recommended you complete the assembly of your unit before tightening any one bolt. So don't tighten everything down. And I noticed something else that I'm completely stoked about, and it's that each of these parts here, these are all different steps. This is made in China, so unfortunately, there it says STCP1, that's supposed to be step one. It shows you all the parts that you need for that. And then we get down to step two, step three. For some reason, step five is here, step seven's here, step six is here, and step four is here. So all the parts for each step are laid out, so there's no way you can mess this up. And then the only tools you actually need are these things right here, which I might use a different uh, wrench for that, but we'll see how that one uses, and I'll let you know how I make out. Step one, super easy. Took this cylinder, put this on the back, and then these four bolts are gonna go here, 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 and here. Step one is done. Got all four bolts just put in there, hand tightened. And now the next step is on the back side of this, this long piece goes back there. There's step two, got two bolts there, two bolts here. Now when we go into step three, things are getting a little more complicated. We got two parts coming together. We got that part going on the top and this part going on the side. Real quick, I wanna interject on step three. This can be important if you're following along with this. This wire that goes through here, this is to the bottom of the unit. This has to go up through this here. And the only way to do that is apparently there's a twisty inside here. So you're gonna wrap that around this wire, you know, like this. And then you're gonna pull it up through and that goes all the way to the top of this. So that's kind of interesting. That's, that's uh, actually kind of genius the way they have that set up like that. But I wanted to show that. So if you ever get this thing put together and you don't understand why there's no power to it, that's what you gotta do. Got that on there, hand tightened of course. And then up here, hopefully this zooms in. You can see I just wrapped the twisty around there and I pulled that right up through that hole and it worked perfectly. Here's another pro tip for you, where these pedals go, there's grease that's prepackaged on them, just like this inside a plastic bag. So when you take that off, you wanna to try to make sure you keep as much grease on there as possible, because that's all you're gonna have. Step three is done, I was putting both of these sides on, so when you pedal this forward like this, they go around, just like that. And then the next thing is, which is step four, is to put these pedals on. I got step four done, I was putting the pedals on. Now we're going on to step five, which is putting the arms on this beast. Got step five done. Both of these things went on very easily. And now step six is bringing this up here and they're gonna meet like that, that connects to the pedal. Man, step six was an easy step. 
Now we're gonna go on to step seven, which is putting together the top of the handlebars up on top of here. Step seven is done. I have the handlebars on, everything looks good. That was super easy to do, just tighten these down right there. And speaking of tightening, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go back through this whole thing and tighten it down because the only thing left is step eight, which is to put this unit on. And that goes on right up here, which is four bolts that's independent of the entire machine. I tested it a little bit. Everything moves really nicely, so I shouldn't have any problems with any alignment issues or anything. So I'm gonna do that next and then we'll put the final steps on. Oh, also I should note that these gray pieces need to go on. They go right here, but I don't wanna put those on until I tighten everything down. So that'll be the last step too. And there you have it. There's my Horizon elliptical fully assembled. Everything went really well. Here is the display on. I haven't taken the plastic off of this yet, but you select your weight and go from there. It's got a speaker in here that you can plug your iPod or your iPhone or whatever you want to in there. Down here you can select the resistances and create programs. Pretty sweet, this thing went together very well. I'm not sure exactly how long it took me, plus I'm filming, and I ate dinner while I was putting it together, so who knows, but it was nothing too bad. I might as well finish this video exercising. As you can see, I'm not wearing any shoes. I'm sure you're probably supposed to, but oh well. Another thing I want to tell you about this elliptical is that if you're worried about height, I'm five foot ten and my ceilings are seven and a half feet and I still have a plenty of distance here so you don't have to worry about hitting your head. And that was one of the big selling points of this particular elliptical for me. Lastly, if you're watching this video because you're on Amazon and you were considering buying this elliptical but were hesitant because of the assembly, go ahead and pull the trigger. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I don't have any mechanical skills and I had no problems putting this together. So go ahead and do it and hope you enjoy.